I mean, what are we talking about here, honestly? <laughs> Mr. President, do you, do you want to come take over the moderation, sir? So, uh, I think, I think the, I have to come in early a little bit before the others so that maybe they try and change their arguments a little bit and move in another direction. So, and I start with the point, the markets and the aid. And I think there was grossing over the problem, and people were saying, you know, you see, we need a boss, and <laughs> it was as if there was none that was better than the other, and so on and so forth. This is a, a blunder. <laughs> Number one, first of all, this question can only be asked in Africa, not in any other region. Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching us from. This is Eli from Africa and if it's the first time you are coming across this channel, consider subscribing. Of this world. Which in itself tells you that there is something wrong even with the way people are arguing the case. Because it is now a given that aid and capital markets, you know, are the same. You see, it's not, you can't say you don't need this. I mean, first, aid is more political than anything else. <laughs> markets are less political markets are neutral. <laughs> Look at the rest of the world. The only thing you're talking about, why you highlight aid, sometimes that, to the point that if you say anything about aid, it may be used against you. <laughs> you see, this is, this, is the only, this is the only place we can be having this conversation. But at the same time, the panelist from Tanzania has made a good point. He illustrated all kinds of wealth lying all over the place from Africa and being recycled to us in the form of aid and then, and then you know, in the end telling you, you know, you must be humble, you must keep quiet. Don't say some of these things. You... I mean, what are we talking about here, honestly? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, do you, do you want to come take over the moderation, sir? So, uh, <laughs> I think, I think the, I have to come in early a little bit before the others so that maybe the try and change their arguments a little bit and move in another direction. So, <laughs> yes, let's, let's not be diplomatic, let's not gross over issues, let's not, you know, markets are markets. The, we know what they have for us, outweighing what we have in the aid by thousands of times, please. So why, why do we leave something here that we know is more important for us by any measure and account? And then we start saying, no, but let's not even make a comparison. You see, we need the boss, you know? <laughs> okay, so I rest my case. <laughs> Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching us from. This is Eli from Africa and if it's the first time you are coming across this channel, consider subscribing. This video is about Paul Kagame and this white host. The lady insists that they have been giving a lot of aids to African countries, I mean aid help to a lot of African countries and it's been going around the African continent. Paul Kagame, the president of Rwanda, who is, is a very known pan-Africanist, is not taking these sentiments lightly. He argues that there is a lot that can be done when Africa is engaging with 
the West or the United States, there is a lot, and he argues that business should be the the case. Business should be the uniting force between African countries, African continent, and the West. He argues that when you enter into a business clause, into a business contract with the US or the West, I mean the UK, uh, Scotland, or any other country that's not in Africa and it's belong to the Euro European powers or the American powers. There is a lot that comes in when you do business rather than when you, you are given grants or aid. When you are being given aid, there is, they take you for granted. They want to take control of your country. They want to take everything and they, you have to submit to them because you are being helped for free. You are being given these things for free and you have no say. That's when they came and they come and enter into the affairs of your country and they want to control everything. Paul Kagame, who is a very known Pan-Africanist argues that the West and the United States should be doing business with Africa because the market are neutral, the markets are fair. There is no market which relies maybe which is political affiliated. The markets are fair and anyone can do market. Like if you have your phones or you you are importing some cars from the United States. It does not matter if you belong to this political affiliation or this one. This person is going to buy this car regardless. And this means the two countries are going to benefit. Uh, the African countries are going to benefit from the importations. And the and the and those countries like the United States and the Western countries, those in the European Union, are going to benefit because they are the ones exporting. And they are the ones producing these cars or these phones or these gadgets. So in this case, they are going to get their market. They are going to get consumers from Africa. And Africa is going to gain because they don't have these goods and they have to buy. They have to import from outside. In this case, it's 50-50. Everyone is gaining and there is no need for a country to get into the affairs, into the political affairs, economic affairs, or social affairs of another country in Africa. In this case, the country, the African countries retains their sovereignty, sovereignty. I mean their, their power, their, their boundaries and all that. Sovereign power, they have that sovereign power within them. And in this case, there is no meddling into the affairs of African countries. He shuts this host by telling her there is need for African countries to be engaging in business rather than be given aids for free. Aid for free. Or be given grants, money or goodies for free. This makes them to lose their power. This makes them to lose their sovereign power. And in this case, that's where we go wrong. That's this where our 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 own control is lost. This is where we we go back to those to to those times when we were being colonized, and there is need for us to be doing business rather than getting free things, getting aid. Let me know if whatever you think of this video of Paul Kagame, who is a very vocal and a very popular African. A pan Africanist who has taken his country into greater heights. I mean, we nowadays know of Rwanda because of Paul Kagame. Before Paul Kagame, we all knew Rwanda because of the genocide that took place back in the 1980s. Thank you so much, and let me know whatever you think of this video of Paul Kagame shutting this host, this white host, about the grants and aids they give to Africa. Thank you so much. I love you, my people.